Are batteries actually worth it? You look at the price of electricity, how it's going up. Eventually, it's going to be a case of you're losing money if you don't put a battery in. Presented by Your Energy Answers. I mean, I see a lot of shiny batteries around here. What makes yours anyway special? So it does pretty much everything. It's a really flexible solution that can do on-grid, off-grid, residential, commercial, AC coupled, DC coupled. Super easy to install, safest batteries in the industry, high capacity batteries. You can do up to 48 kilowatt hours per stack, parallel as big as you want to go. So. I think the installers just love having one solution that does pretty much everything. The battery itself is SunGrow, which means it's very compatible with the SunGrow inverter. So there's no mismatch going on there. Secondly, it's a modular design, so it's very quick and easy for the installer to put together and it is literally plug and play. Thirdly, it is scalable, so you can have virtually any size of system you want. Everything from 6.4 kilowatt hours up to 160 depending on your circumstances. So that's a whole section of the community can benefit from our batteries. I'm uh, an installer myself and an electrician and BYD are constantly working hard to uh, innovate and make the installation process uh, a lot easier for installers being in the stackable design for expansion and installability. With large batteries that don't have that compartmentalization, obviously very difficult to install and, and maneuver around for, uh, for off-grid installation, that sort of thing. On a SolarEdge system, the roof works at 380 volt. This battery is designed by SolarEdge to work at 380 volt. That means the energy can come off your roof and get stored DC to DC with no conversions, no loss. If you're looking at some of the other brands out there, they use the grid as the glue that holds them together. So you're going from the roof out to the grid, from the grid into your battery, and then when you use the energy at night, you're going from the battery out to the grid again. That's a triple conversion penalty. We don't have any of that. With the SolarEdge home battery, it gets stored straight from the roof into the battery. You only have one conversion at nighttime when you're using it, and that means you're gonna get anywhere from six to 10% more energy, 30 days more energy a year out of the system using the SolarEdge home battery. The thing that makes the Enface battery special is two things. First of all, it's modular. We're not just meaning you can install multiples of them, which you can, but when you look up here, you see we're actually having multiple inverters in there. And this is the specialty of Enface having these modular inverters here. So we've taken the philosophy we had on the panels with the microinverter and have adapted in that into the battery. So there's no longer a single point of failure. We now have an additional layer of resilience with the Enphase battery that nobody else offers as a technology stack. And in batteries overall, is there kind of, as an end customer, is there one key thing I should look for? I think the key thing you should look for in any battery install, you're talking about a significant investment. The battery is going to be there for a long time. So make sure that you're happy with the software that you are interacting with on that battery, which I would say is the strongest part of the SolarEdge home ecosystem is the My Solar Edge app, where the battery, EV charges, smart home integration, all of that's available in a single app for the customer, which makes their home energy management very, very simple. When you look at competitive solutions, you might have an inverter app, you might have a battery app, you might have the, you know, an EV charging app and everything fights each other. So app control, I think is crucial. Um, it's a number of things. I mean, it's the flexibility of the products, it's the battery safety, it's the integrated AI. We are eligible for the New South Wales battery rebate for level one, level two. All SIG Energy products are good to go. Oh, wow, that would have been a hurdle to jump to. Well done. I think uh, Tesla took a while to jump that one, so well done. Okay, well, the main concerns are, of course, with a lot of people is safety. Our batteries are LPF which is the safest ones that you can actually buy. Secondly, Sangro itself has been making inverters for over 20 years. We've had an Australian office for over 12 years, and we have 70 full-time staff in Sydney. So we've got your back. First of all, I think we have to be cognizant that if you have an existing solar system, is that solar system sufficient to actually power the battery or do I need extra panels? And if that answer, that question is answered, what's the right capacity for me? Depending on how your energy load is as a household throughout the day and how much energy you consume, you need to put that into context that says, do I need a bigger battery or a smaller battery? The goal should be that you have a very high degree of self-sufficiency offsetting costs from the electricity grid. And if you achieve that with the right size, then you actually have made a good decision. And I think that's where you need to take that individual approach. What's the situation of the household in terms of their electricity demand and their consumption? And then choose the right size battery for that. Don't be fooled in the sense that you, you always need to look at your return on investment. So one thing that really irritates me as an installer and 
uh, an electrical professional is salespeople get involved and create this hype. Sometimes a battery is not suitable for certain installations where you don't have a high um, usage requirement at night time. It's important that you pair and partner with an installer who knows what they're talking about, can look at your energy consumption and advise you correctly according to your, your actual bill and your actual consumption as to where you want to invest. A quality battery system will end up costing you similar to what your solar installation will cost. So it's a considerable investment starting around the $8,000 mark and up from there. So important to be advised correctly by a professional who can assess your situation and make sure that that return on investment is, is going to work well for you. I mean, I hear some installers now selling a third of all sales is a solar battery combo. Are solar batteries worth it? I have one and I'm very happy with it. My wife is a financial manager, she's done the mask, and she's absolutely happy with it. A battery is much more than just an investment product, it's actually an insurance. And you don't calculate your ROI on an insurance, it's there to give you peace of mind. It's there as an insurance against future change, it's there as insurance for you to be resilient against uh, impacts of, of, of natural catastrophes that we all know too well in Australia. So there's a lot of value that's stacked and if you can unpack that and look what the customer really wants, and that's why you find more and more people actually buy the solar battery for their homes, the answer is a clear yes in my opinion, and the message has not just spread to everybody just yet. You'll see a lot more of that coming, personally, okay. I believe that. Absolutely worth it. Over the last few years, the cost has come down to the point where it makes sense. The payback periods are shorter. We just had the introduction of the New South Wales battery rebate where customers can get up to a $5,000 incentive to install. We've got the integration with VPPs, which can reduce the return on investment even more. I'm a big proponent of batteries for sure. Oh, of course they're worth it. You look at the price of electricity, how it's going up. Eventually, it's going to be a case of you're losing money if you don't put a battery in. And what's the EV car going to do to the whole home battery market? Well, it complements the home battery market because you can, say, store your energy during the day in your SunGrow battery and you can then charge your car overnight from that stored energy. So it's literally free fuel. Absolutely, because there's more to it than just simply break-even point. If, when, have you ever done a renovation on your kitchen? Yeah, I never look at ROI, actually. Exactly, return on investment. The return on investment is a trick. At the end of the day, return on investment is about selling the cheapest products in the market as quickly as possible. Because everyone's like, oh, I'm going to get a break-even point of two years. whoop de doo If we wanted a break-even point on our car, everyone would be driving a Nissan Micra, right? Because that's going to break even on your transport costs as quick as possible. There's more to buying products than a break-even point or return on investment. You need to look at what products make sense for your lifestyle, for your home, the quality, the warranty. There's a lot more to it. Look, there's a few things to consider. Obviously, it then gives you the redundancy should you have inconsistent power supply where you're getting brownouts or failures. And obviously, with a bush fire season here in Australia, which we're about to come against this season, batteries will give you that redundancy and ability to have that 24-7 uh, power without reliance on the grid. So all of these little factors have got to be taken into consideration. What is kind of the trend of where we're all going? As far as the broader trends in the market, larger systems, the system size is stabilized. If we're looking at it, it's around eight kilowatts average. And as far as battery attachment rates are climbing very rapidly. So I think we'll just see more and more battery attachment. One last logic is if the EV comes and we need more consumption, theoretically the solar system would get bigger too, wouldn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and that's the beauty of our architecture, right? You don't have to swap the inverter to grow the system. We can keep growing the optimizers and the panels on the DC side. A solar edge inverter can be up, oversized up to 300%. So you can have a five kilowatt wow. inverter with 15 kilowatts of panels on that to support your EV and your batteries because these are the most common drivers for growing a system, but you don't have to buy a new inverter when you do it. So that's saving people a lot on their growth and their scalability of their system. So I completely agree with that. We've grown very quickly. So we've just announced that we're the fastest growing company on record in this space. We've got huge market share really quickly because it's a really innovative product. It's super easy to install. So it's a modular system. There's no cabling. It's just basically like a big Lego set. You could install a 48 kilowatt hour system, build everything in like 15 minutes. We've got fast Ethernet auto networking, so the commission inside takes five minutes. So we're not sitting there with a dongle and, and waiting for three hours for somebody to call me back. 
player. That's in the history. That's in the past. That still happens with some other players. Yeah, but that's not Sig Energy. We're not the players. I think the big trend is connectivity. It's no longer about I have this battery and it's mine and I sit there uh, behind the meter and I'm listening, living on a little island about this. It's about what can my battery do beyond just helping me? The word VPP is used in a lot of terms. As the electricity markets progress as well, it will enable new revenue streams for consumers to go in. So you need to be connected. You need to be with a great company that has a great platform that enables you to, ac to access new and emerging markets with your asset tomorrow so that you can actually earn more money from your solar and battery assets. We've heard a lot about cobalt mining and the humanitarian effects of that. So BYD have actively taken measures to make sure that their manufacturing facilities are now cobalt free. So that's been a huge thing for BYD. We're creating products for sustainability. So we need to make sure that obviously it's not only environmentally friendly, but also friendly on the, on the people that use them and manufacture them. Well, on the residential side, the trend would be whole home backup. And with our hybrid systems, you can actually back up your entire house from the battery. If you have a blackout in your area and then you can invite all your neighbours over and you can still have lights and a drink, that's a great feeling, isn't it? That, especially during the World Cup, I can assure you, you don't want the TV going off. Now, what's your after sale service network yet? Really good, so we've got our own local service. Uh, we're growing the team as we grow. Obviously, we're not the biggest you know, in the industry. We've only just launched the product about two months ago. We do have integrated AI and chat GPT-4 built into the app which does serve as a first response. So it's like the customer's got their own personal assistant. Otherwise, they can give us a call and we've got really good tech support. But look, there's a lot of good batteries on the market. It's great to have competition and it's great that you guys are available for the battery rebate. Really enjoyed that. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah. Cheers, great. Please support the channel by liking the video, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and check out all our other videos. Want more Energy Answered? Visit yourenergyanswers.com for quality energy products, tools and calculators, and find your quality local installers. You're still here? I'll see you next time. Bye.